In this video, we will cover how to upload a new video file in Vernier Video Analysis and get it ready for analysis. Start by opening Video Analysis on your laptop, Chromebook, or other device. For analysis, larger screens are easier to work with and produce better results. While you can use Video Analysis on phones, the smaller screen size is not ideal. Navigate to videoanalysis.app in your browser. The Chrome browser is recommended. Once in the app, you'll see the starting screen with a few sample videos. Since I want to analyze my own video, I will click on Import Video and select my file. Here, we see our video imported on the left, and on the right, we see a position versus time graph at the top and a data table below. We will create the data set by manually marking the motion in the video. So, let's start by tracking the motion of the object. First, I'm going to change the video options so that I'm adding a point every two frames instead of every frame. This will just make it a little quicker to generate our graph. Next, I'll drag the time marker in the video to where the motion begins. In this case, just as the basketball leaves the student's hands. Make sure to choose one piece on the basketball or whatever your object is and mark that point consistently. In this case, I will choose the top of the ball here. Mark the top of the basketball in the first frame. You'll see the video automatically advances two frames. Mark the new position at the same point on the basketball in this frame. Repeat until you have marked the entire duration of motion that you want to analyze. You can see our table and graph populating with data from each tracking mark. Next, I want to make a couple of adjustments. Notice how all of my measurements are in pixels? I want to change that to meters by using the two meter two by four in the frame to set the scale. Click the system icon and the scale option will automatically be selected. Drag these two points to the ends of the meter stick and you can see the table and graph adjusting in real time as we set the scale. The second adjustment I want to make is moving the origin of my axes. Using the advancement arrows, click the reverse arrow until the time marker is on the first dot of the motion. Click the origin icon under system and drag that to the very first dot we tracked right as the basketball enters free motion. There we go. If anything looks wonky, I can use the edit feature to fix or delete any tracking points. Now your video is marked and ready for analysis. In the next video, I will begin data analysis looking at the horizontal motion using the graphing features including linear curve fits and the statistics.